chap behind the camera is Sharif Mansour. We are your chapter leaders. Uh, for those of you who uh, are here for the first time, um, we run these events once every two months, uh, usually, apart from this month, because we have three events this month. So one has already gone past, that was Capture the Flag event. So one is today, and we'll have another event on Thursday. And the reason for that, because today is Thanksgiving. So Jeff Williams, who is the founder of OWASP and the pioneer of application security, is going to be in London uh, next Thursday. And he's going to present a talk on DevOps. But well, that's not going to be here. That's going to be in another venue. Just eat. Um, apart from these uh, meetups, we also organize hackathons, capture the flags. Uh, we're going to have a hacker pub quiz sometime during the winter. Uh, we will announce when that's going to be. And we've already run um, one workshop on capture the flag development, uh, challenge development. We're going to have a few more workshops on various OWASP projects and application security topics. Um, so I'm glad you all managed to find us and you found out about this event. Um, in case you don't know, the best way to find out when the next event is on is sign up to our mailing list over there. It's an old-fashioned way, but it works the best because you'll get an email every time we announce something new. Um, another very useful way of um, finding out about our events is following us on Twitter. Because people on Twitter usually find out about event announcements the first, and they have the privilege of grabbing the first tickets. You also like us on Facebook. Uh, developers amongst you who use Slack can um, sign up to owaspslack.com and uh, we are on a Chapter London channel. If you need an invite, please come and find me afterwards or just search Owasp London Twitter. You'll find the URL for the invites. Uh, we also have a YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com Owasp London. All the talks are recorded and they are published on YouTube, usually within a week, so you can watch it as well. And yeah, of course, uh, just use uh, our OWASP London webpage at OWASP.org in XPHP London. So the next event is going to be on 30th of November, next Thursday. Mark your calendars. If you haven't got the ticket, please come and talk to us because uh, due to cancellations, I think we have, uh, I think at least five tickets available for next Thursday. Okay, we're streaming this event live on Facebook Live, so uh, those of you who couldn't make it, you can watch it live or you can tell your friends and family who uh, like application security topics, they can watch us on Facebook. Um, here's the agenda for tonight. Uh, I hope you all manage to uh, talk to each other, grab a piece of pizza and have some beer. Um, I'm going to do a very short update on the new projects, uh, news of OWASP and upcoming conferences, and Sharif will say a few words about the board. Uh, then we're going to have Thomas talking about uh, HMRC vulnerabilities. Then we're going to have a break, some more beer and pizza and more networking. This is the reason why we all have stickers, so we know each other's name. And then uh, David will present a talk on uh, SHA-3 standards. Uh, so it's been a while since we had a crypto talk. So um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, um, very interesting to make sure your brains are tuned to the right uh, crypto and Mars brainwave. Uh, then we're going to have a wrap up and we're going to have more networking and drinks, but not here. We're going to go across the road from this office to a pub called The Victoria, just literally across the road. So quickly about OWASP, there are 200 chapters worldwide. In the UK, these are the chapters of OWASP um, in Great Britain. So actually, the Bristol chapter is having a chapter meeting right now, and I think they have talks on phishing. So we're just going to say hi and wave at them. It's is they were just on live stream. Um, uh, everyone at OWASP, they're all volunteers. There are 45,000 of us worldwide. No one is paid for any of the stuff we do. We do it all in our free time. Um, there is a membership, and this membership is individual and corporate. Uh, so individual membership is only 50 US dollars per year. It's really a donation. Um, however, you get not just the sticker uh, that you're an OWASP member, um, you uh, obviously also get a few um, benefits of becoming an OWASP member, um, like getting exclusive discounts on a lot of cybersecurity conferences. Um, some of them can be 99% discounts, 50% discount, 25% discount um, to get in. Of course, this money that you uh, donate will be donated to your local chapter and some projects, uh, which works for all of us. You'll get a cool OWASP.org email address that you can showcase it in your organization to say that you're actually supporting OWASP. And of course, if you're a member, you can vote. Only those who were members had the right to vote. And more on voting a little bit later. Right. 
Um, so, um, we also have corporate membership. So these are the logos of everyone who is a corporate mem uh, member. A few of our sponsors are actually in the audience, so uh, make sure you grab the freebies. Uh, again, a reminder on the little table here, we have uh, stickers, webcam covers, and uh, uh, some other freebies from uh, our sponsors. Um, these companies on the screen are our premium members, so these are the companies who donate at least $20,000 per year to us, so many thanks to them. Um, oops, and I think I clicked the wrong button. And to get back to our chapter sponsor page, which is this. So these companies on this slide represent all the companies who kindly sponsor London, our chapter. Um, uh, we are very grateful to them. And I would like to invite the CSO of the Telegraph Media Group, uh, Stefan Freeman, who is our host here, to welcome us and say a couple of words. Thank you, Sam. Um, I'm going to keep it short. Thank you very much for coming. Um, do enjoy the pizza and the uh, and the beer, and uh, I hope we're all really looking forward to seeing what the talks are. So um, enjoy yourselves. Can you pass the toilets? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll tell you, yeah, if the, if the if I'm not expecting fire alarm, please follow. You know, run in the, the same direction as everybody else. Um, <laughs> toilets are over there. The uh, uh, security chaps will be able to help you with that. Um, and, oh yes, uh, also very important, there are some Telegraph Engineering um, cards at the bottom here that have got some links on the back. Uh, there are some openings if, uh, if you want to keep a... Yep, there you go. Oops. Wave them around for the Roman audience. Um, they've got uh, details of, uh, of vacancies and stuff, so if you're interested, then, uh, then pick up a card. All right, anything else? I'll be around all evening, so um, Excellent. enjoy. Excellent. Thank you for hosting us in this cool venue. Right. So, uh, news from OWASP number one. The elections of the board uh, just finished. We have results and we have four new board members. And I'm very pleased to announce that uh, my colleague Sharif Mansour here is actually been elected. So, uh, Sharif, we'd like to go up and congratulations. <laughs> Maybe this is the first time Yeah, me as a board member. Um, so, yeah, thank you everyone for voting. And for those of you who voted twice because we had to reset the vote, thank you again. No Russian hacking involved. No, no, not that we know of. Moving on now. Uh, yeah, no, it's been uh, really exciting and uh, it's been an amazing uh, two weeks. So not only am I a new board member, but also I'm a dad as well. So that happened. So just a quick update, so on November 20th, um, the OS Top 10 was uh, published. Um, we had uh, the new board members announced. We actually don't start right now, we start on November, sorry, we start in the beginning of 2018, so January we start. Uh, December 6th is when we meet um, officially the, the rest of the board and sign and agree to become non-executive directors and that's when we begin. Um, and I'd very much love to hear from all of you of any things or any feedback uh, that you'd like. Come talk to me. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, thanks, Sharif. So, as Sharif just announced, another very big announcement from OWASP is the long-awaited OWASP Top 10 2017 is finally out. Uh, it was due to be released last year. Yeah, that, that didn't happen. Okay. So as you can see, the document has now been published, and you can see the changes uh, which happened. So basically, we now have th three new items which weren't there before, and some are gone. So now we have XXE, XML external entity. Uh, we have um, another new one, which is insecure deserialization, which obviously plagued uh, quite a few companies, namely Equifax recently, uh, the struts to deserialization vulnerability. And we have another new one which caused quite a few debates, but yeah, well, we debated long and hard and finally it was squeezed in. Um, and it's called insufficient logging and monitoring, which um, we were told is very important these days because uh, when breaches happen, people don't know about them for months, sometimes for years. Like it was the case with uh, Equifax, didn't, didn't know about it for a few months. And with Yahoo, I think they didn't know about it for a couple of years. And now it turns out everyone who had the Yahoo account has been hacked. So there you go, guys. Instead, the document is now available to download. Um, so PDF is uh, there. Please um, read it. Um, 
uh, it's been uh, edited by many people there are lots of contributors including myself and Sharif um, so yeah and uh, use it as an awareness document in your organizations uh, share it with your, your developers security people penetration testers QA uh, new project uh, starting up now is OWASP cloud security project uh, the project leader uh, Fraser Scott unfortunately couldn't be here tonight but yeah, this is the latest project just come out so uh, it's brand new, so please contribute if you have something to say about cloud security, uh, especially we're looking at threat modeling side of things, so please do sign up. Um, one thing I forgot to mention on the sponsor side, slide here, we have a new sponsor, HackerOne, so uh, many thanks for HackerOne to becoming a new sponsor. And they also contributed a free ebook to uh, everyone here, um, which is called Web Hacking 101. So I didn't put the URL of it, but basically if you go to Google and Google hack, learn, earn, ebook, uh, you'll find the URL and basically it will ask you to sign up to hack one platform, so basically become a hacker, but you don't need to do anything, you don't need to find vulnerabilities, you can just click on the link to download this ebook and then learn how to do it, yeah, basically join HackerOne. Next, conferences, pleasant stuff. California, January, when it's uh, gloomy and bad weather in the UK, in California, they're having a conference on the beach, right? <laughs> so if, if you want to go and uh, basically listen to some cool talks by some cool upset people uh, when it's uh, very hot, nice sunshine, um, yeah, it's on Santa Monica State Beach, January 28th till 31st. So first two days are training. So if you want training, join for the first two days. The last two days, January 30th and 31st, are the talks, the conference part. Yeah, and that's the venue. Very nice. This is a, uh, this is a place to be. Okay. Right, another big announcement about summer. We have our own summertime event in June. So we had the NOWASP Summit last June, and this year we're going to have it again. Um, so uh, as you can see, we're already started the countdown. This is all of us. Uh, from last summer. Yeah, so this is no talks, no presentations, no death by PowerPoint. This is purely workshops, people working on projects. And uh, for example, OWASP Top 10 2017 was changed. The first proposal was rejected. And a lot of people worked to make sure that it's corrected. It all came out from OWASP Summit 2016, uh, 2017. So please make sure you do, um, uh, if, if you want to work with people rather than um, listen to talks, uh, you sign up, uh, or have your developers or security guys sign up and help us uh, to move on quite a few OWASP projects. And next big date we have once a year, a oh, AppSec Europe and AppSec USA. So AppSec USA is just gone. We're gonna have AppSec Europe in Israel this time. A lot of people probably will uh, have a bit of an, uh, raised eyebrows. Why is Israel in Europe? Yeah, we asked the same thing. I said, oh, no, no, no. well, we are in Europe. Don't worry. It's a bit like Eurovision, but it is in Tel Aviv. And the important thing about this conference is because this is the most important, important application security conference of the year for us. The call for papers, call for talks is now open. So if you would like to present your talk, I'm looking at you speakers here, two speakers tonight, would like to present your talk in, in Tel Aviv. Um, yeah, so please uh, submit your talk proposals because the deadline for this is January the 5th. You only have about six weeks left. Right. So uh, another short announcement that we're always looking for speakers. Uh, we have three tracks, which is breakers, defenders, and builders. And yeah, if you'd like to speak at our events, please submit your talk proposal to us yeah, and we'll schedule you in. So on this note, I would like to Welcome our speakers. First speaker is uh, Thomas Shadwell. Uh, quick note about Twitter handles. So obviously, if, you, if you're on Twitter, please follow our speakers on Twitter, because Twitter has become quite important for cybersecurity. Um, yeah, and Thomas, would you like to come up and plug in your laptop? We'll start. All right. This is all your stuff. Hello. 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 Hello.